Previously on Linux for Everyone. Treat Linux like a first class citizen. How do we get there though? Do we raise our collective voices and campaign for AMD and NVIDIA to port these features? Or do we build them ourselves? Something tells me you already know the answer to that question. Leave it to the FOSS community to do what the big guys won't. Today's App Spotlight is a follow-up to a video that I did a couple weeks ago looking at the gaming ecosystem and, and things that Windows gamers have that Linux gamers don't have. And this video is also because of you, because so many people were like, hey, you need to check out Core Control. And so I did, I'm loving it, and I wanna tell everyone who doesn't know about it, well, all about it. Core Control is a free and open source Linux application that allows you to easily get control over your computer's hardware. What makes Core Control really stand out in my eyes is the fact that you can use it to automatically configure your system with native Linux apps or Windows executables. Let's check it out. What you need to know up front is that at the moment, Core Control does support AMD and Intel CPUs, but only AMD Radeon graphics cards. Although the developer does have ambitions to include other vendors, and I'm going to hope that that means NVIDIA in the near future, and even Intel's dedicated GPUs when those are released later in 2020. Good news on the installation front, it is pretty straightforward, especially if you're on Fedora, or Arch or OpenSUSE. With Ubuntu, you'll need to add a PPA, update your system, and then install Core Control as you can see here. But rather than just talk about Core Control and talk about the features, I wanna show you the app in action. So what I've done is I've thrown a Radeon 7 into my uh, System76 Thaleo, and you, you'll see on the top left of your screen, it does not show up as Radeon 7. It shows up as GPU 0, which is technically accurate, but not, uh, you know, very human readable. And that's very likely because no one has submitted the card's name to the PCI ID database. But aside from that little hitch, everything else has worked like a dream. And now what I'm going to show you is Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and this is the native version on Linux. And we're going to run a trio of benchmarks, okay? So the first benchmark is going to be letting Core Control just automatically dictate the Radeon 7's behavior. So it's max clock speeds, it's power, it's fan control. And then we're gonna gradually reduce things like the GPU clock and the memory clock speeds and the maximum power that's allocated to the card and see what kind of differences we get in this benchmark. And don't worry, there is a method to my madness. And uh, for those of you who've wanted a Radeon chill style feature on Linux, you're probably gonna get where I'm going with this. Now we're just gonna speed through this Shadow of the Tomb Raider benchmark really quickly. And you'll also see that I've got the wonderful Mango HUD overlay running on top here. Now for the second run, we're going to dial back the GPU clock to 1546 megahertz, pull back the maximum memory clock speed to 800 megahertz, and throttle the power draw to only 100 watts. Now in this first scene, keep an eye on our maximum GPU clock our fan speeds and our GPU temps. You'll notice all of these are lower, and for the most part, it's adhering to the power draw that we specified. But, but seriously, the fans are so much quieter during this benchmark, I know you can't hear that. And also our GPU temp has gone from about 74, 75 Celsius to about 71 Celsius. And by the time we reach the third scene in this benchmark, our fan speed is still more than 1300 RPM slower and that's just because the card doesn't have to work as hard because we've dialed everything back. And yet, look at the result. 84 average FPS with the exact same graphic settings. That's only about a 5% decrease in performance, even though our fan speeds have been cut in half, our noise has been seriously reduced, and our power draw has been seriously cut back. But I know that's not enough for you guys. Let's get crazy. Let's do a third run and throttle back the GPU clock even more into like the 1350 megahertz range. And let's restrict the Radeon 7's power draw to only 75 watts. Check this out. So we roll into the second and third scenes and look at this. 
our our fan speeds under a thousand RPM. It is substantially quieter. Our GPU temps are fine. They're about 74, 75 C. So certainly this is going to decimate our performance, right? Having everything dialed back this far. How about that? 81 FPS average, which is only about a 9% decrease in overall performance for this very demanding benchmark. Now, it's probably going to take a little bit of experimenting to find that sweet spot, what works for you. But in this scenario, you know, apply that over months and months of use, and it's less wear and tear on our GPU, and we haven't even touched the CPU side yet. So I'm really excited about Core Control. I want to give uh, some serious props to the developer and to you guys for putting this app on my radar. And the fact that you can create a profile for various applications, whether that's gaming or compute or you know graphic design or just whatever you're working on, makes this a super flexible piece of software. And I can't wait to see where it goes from here. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Let me know your thoughts about Core Control down in the comments. And if you know about a Linux app that everybody else should know about, let me know. This video is a direct result of you letting me know. So thank you very much. And hey, if you missed it, the channel recently passed 10,000 amazing subscribers. Thank you for that. I recorded a video kind of celebrating it in which I wrote and performed a song that's dedicated to you guys. So make sure you check it out right up there somewhere at the top of your screen. Really appreciate you guys watching and subscribing and interacting. That's a really important part of all this. To my patrons and my super fans, you guys rock. I'll see you for the next video, and until then, take care, and take care of each other.